Welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore even and odd functions and also define functions that are neither even nor odd. So even functions, functions that are even are symmetric about the y-axis. So like a parabola of y equals x squared is an even function. Also, even functions contain terms with all even exponents. Like my examples here, x squared minus x to the fourth, even though these aren't in decreasing order of x, or g of x equals negative x to the sixth minus x to the eighth plus two. Also, even functions, it doesn't matter if you put in negative x or x, you'll still get the same result. With an even exponent, you could probably do this in your head, whether you put negative five in or positive five in, right? Because we have even exponents, it's gonna force every negative input to become a positive input. So negative five and f of five are going to be equivalent because of the even exponents. With an odd function, odd functions are symmetric to the origin. Okay, like y equals x cubed minus 3x is going to be sub symmetric to the origin. And you can see below here the symmetry that we have. Here's our symmetric to the y-axis. Here's our parabola. Okay, we have this axis of symmetry uh, is the y-axis. And then symmetric to the origin is an odd function. So this is an example. It's symmetric across the origin. So between the first and the third quadrant or the second and the fourth quadrant. It's gonna be symmetrical. This one here is not symmetric. Uh, it's symmetric to the x-axis, but that is not a function. Uh, so that's neither even or odd. So going back to the odd functions, an odd function is gonna contain terms with all odd exponents. Conversely, the even function had all even exponents. Okay, so we have you know, x cubed and x to the first, and we have x to the fifth and x cubed and x. In an odd function, f of negative x is the equivalent of the opposite of f of x. Um, instead of using negative five, I'm gonna use negative two here. So if I input negative two into our, our top function here, so f of negative two equals negative two cubed minus three times negative two. So we have negative eight plus six equals negative two. That's gonna be the same as I put in if I input the opposite of f of two. So the opposite of two cubed minus three times two is the opposite of 8 minus 6, so I get the opposite of 2. So that does check out. So we can see here by using this concept, f of negative x equals the opposite of f of x. That is indeed an odd function. So on the right-hand side here, we've got some explore the concept. We're not going to do all these, but uh, we can see here these are all even exponents, so this is going to be an even function. 2x cubed plus 1, it has an odd exponent, but this one actually is going to be neither, okay? And we can do that if you want to check, you know, like f of negative 2 does not equal the opposite of uh, f of 2 here. So, that one's going to be neither. Uh, the third one, we have all odd exponents, so that's going to be an odd function. The fourth one, these are all even exponents, that's going to be an even function. Here we have an odd and an even, so with x to the fifth and x fourth, so that's going to be neither. And the final one, Exponents are 9, 5, 3, and 1, so those are all odd, so that is going to be an odd function. So 
neither in objective three, neither even nor odd, it has no symmetry at all, or it might be sy symmetrical about the x-axis. Something like 2x cubed plus three, as we saw earlier with 2x cubed plus one, uh, that's gonna be neither, or if we mix our exponents between evens and odds, that is not gonna be an even or an odd function. So there's our introduction to even and odd functions, and we'll get some more practice with that when I see you in class.